Chapter 6 Steel Loaves Good morning. What will you buy today? Give me two loaves of stale bread. I think he is a poor artist. That is why he cannot afford to buy fresh bread. I will put the painting on the counter. If that man is an artist, he will notice it. Good morning, madam. You have here a fine picture. Two loaves of stale bread, please. You think it is a good picture? I was right. He is a struggling artist. I wish I could add some tasty food to his purchase. Two loaves of stale bread, please. What is that clanging sound? I wonder why the fire engine is rushing past. I can slice his stale bread and put some butter for him. I am sure it will make him happy. I hope he does not take offence when he sees the bread. After a few hours. Tumkoff, you have spoiled me. You vast one marrying some old cat. Ma'am, that's Blumberger, an architectural draughtsman. I work in the same office with him. But why is he so angry? He's been working hard for three months on the plan of a city hall. It was for a competition. He had finished inking his lines yesterday. Well, he finished it, didn't he? You see, a draughtsman always makes the drawing in pencil first. So? When it's done, he rubs out the pencil marks with crumbs of stale bread. That's better than Indian rubber. Oh my God! So that's why he buys stale bread. And I thought... And ma'am, you know, butter isn't good. It would spoil his drawings. Is his plan ruined? It isn't good for anything, except to cut up for railroad sandwiches. Oh, oh, what have I done? And I thought I was helping him. From a short story by O. Henry, adapted. Stale, not fresh. Does not take offence, does not feel bad. Dumkov, a German word, stupid person. Medding some, meddlesome, interfering. Architectural draughtsman, a person who draws the building plans. Inking, drawing over lines with ink.